Hey everyone, my name is Pacha and welcome to a new episode of Raven Creek Park. And before we start with the actual episode, I have to make an announcement regarding um, the yeah, schedule for the next week, so to say, because next week there will be no video. Next week, meaning if you're watching this video a little bit later, then it's not that important for you. But the week I'm speaking about is the 21th to uh, 27th of November. So the next week when I'm uploading this video, there will be no video whatsoever, uh, at least no new video, simply because I will take a one week break from recording and building simply uh, because of two things. One is to regenerate a little bit, to recharge the batteries, so to say, um, after some pretty intense weeks in terms of building, recording, especially after the release of the Twilight Pack, I was recording constantly, I finished the video and then I went right uh, to the next one, so to, uh, yeah, I went right to the next video and recorded that and there was no real, real, real break between them, so I could get out the footage and the builds as fast as possible. So after this video here, we will t I will take a one week break uh, to recharge, but the other f uh, and the other reason for that is to plan a little bit for the future. I have the ideas for what will come into this park next already in my head. I just have to make a little bit of, of a drawing or um, a layout for myself here in the park or on paper to know where things will go because uh, without a real plan, uh, I tend to, yeah, everything I tend to make um, tends to yeah, fall into chaos, so to say. Um, so to, yeah, to prevent that from happening, I will take that week also to plan a little bit to make myself an idea of what will go next. And then after that week, we will be back in full strength and we will be building more things again. So just a, a, sh a short heads up, a short information for you guys if you're interested in such things. I will also make an announcement. Um, you, but you ever, however, you will not be without any footage or without any content next week. I plan to finally upload the initial um, showcase stream of the Twilight Pack to YouTube. Uh, it was so far it was only available on Twitch. So my initial showcase stream when the pack was released. Um, I will upload that next week, so you can see my first reaction to all the new stuff, to all the pieces and animals there. Uh, you can also see yeah, some more in-depth look at all the uh, stuff that came with the DLC. If you're interested in that, that I will upload next week, so you still have something to watch. Um, until, yeah, I'm, 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 back, I'm back with new videos. But yeah, um, we are already three minutes in and we haven't even talked about what we are building today because this has nothing to do with the Twilight Pack, which we finished, basically finished last week with the Raccoon Habitat. Now, this time we are building a little bit of a surprise animal. Um, you ca I think you already know what it is from the thumbnail. Yeah, a little bit of a surprise because Planet Zoo um, had his three year anniversary I think now two weeks ago, uh, on the 5th of November, they celebrated it, but it celebrated it, I think, two days earlier. And yeah, um, surprisingly, many we, we, we thought, what, what could it be? What, maybe we get something, do we get something? There was a lot of speculation and hopes and, and such things. But Plan Zoo surprised us again with a brand new animal. Um, and this time it is the European or yeah, it's the European red deer, the second largest deer species in Europe and the third largest deer species, I think, in the world after the moose and the wapiti or American elk. Um, really surprising. Um, if, I, if you remember, maybe if you remember, if you are a little bit longer in this community last year to so for the two year anniversary we got um also a new animal but it was more a reskin or a, a more reskin of an exist already existing animal we got the black and white ruffed lemur of course very similar 
in uh, terms of look to the red rust lemur that we already had in the game from the beginning of the of this air of planet zoo um and this was also was totally fine i i had no problem with it i don't really care about the uh, black and white rust lemur but i guess for people who build lemur house or madagascar exhibits um they are quite cool we also got a new shop last year which was bernie's bakery uh, a little cupcake shop and we got some anniversary balloons that disappeared after uh, after the weekend after the uh, weekend after uh, after the weekend after the anniversary so to say um this year we got um yeah we got as i said the red deer as a brand new animal which i guess uses the same rigs or yeah basically same animations as a fellow deer um have to test that a little bit out but it looks uh, incredible different massively different from the fellow deer uh, so no real comparison to the red rough lemur and the black and white rough lemur um the yeah the red deer and the fellow deer couldn't be further apart from each other. They look really incredible. Both of them, but the red deer looks really incredible. One of my favorite animals that I wanted from the start of this game for a long time. Now it is here and it looks amazing. It They really did a great job with that. We also got some new balloons in the um, balloon shop. So we have now these animal themed balloons. I think there's a chimp, um, a red panda. I don't know what I think a lion also or a tiger. I haven't seen them all yet. So, but there are some new balloons that also stay this time. And yeah, um, this was basically it. Apart from some real world goodies like a merchandise shop and everything, you will find info infos about that on Frontiers website or on the Planet Zoo website, um, if you want more info. But yeah, um, really cool, really really cool. Uh, the red deer. As I said, amazing an animal that fits right into Raven Creek with our North American European setting here. And yeah, um, I have to say it's really a step up from last year. Of course, I would have loved to have a new shop maybe, um, to get a new shop, maybe something that we had in Planet Coaster, um, like Maxalenta, I think, I don't know if, if it's in the game, but we also got a lot of shops with the World's Fair DLC in Planet Coaster. A lot of different shops from around the world, um, like I think also a German restaurant for um, sausages. So maybe one of these would have been cool to get in the zoo, or um, and I think in American zoos it's more popular about a popcorn popcorn stand, which as I said are more popular in American zoos. Such things would be cool. Um, the balloons are still amazing and and funny, and it's nice to have some different balloons. But we can discuss about how good balloons are in a zoo. Um, in reality but for this game they are nice but i think the real highlight this time is the red deer uh, another european uh, species which we really still need we have already got a few with the last dlcs but um the more the merrier as as you say so um yeah it's really cool and yeah this meant i had to um throw my plans for what i want to build next overboard and build for the red deer of course because uh, I want to give them proper home and this is <laughs> what we are doing uh, right now we are building them a proper home not close to the forest area but close to the river where we of course have our bridge over to the wetlands area the wetland special uh, event area um, so we are building them an amazing and lovely yeah, as I say, as I think, lovely habitat close to the river, not connected to the river because there are some laws, I think, in America when it comes to building close to the river, but, uh, yeah, or on the river, but close to it. And we have these gorgeous mountains in the background of the habitat and also uh, a view on the train bridge, which is really cool. Um, and I think I will post some more pictures here in the community corner over the next days. Uh, where I captured some amazing moments with the deers and the trains in the background. And it kind of reminds me, it, I, I kind of have the feeling that the red deer is basically the deer on the logo for Raven Creek. So, you know, the Raven Creek logo, there's a deer on it. And I f the red deer, always in my heart, had this had this place there, uh, was the deer on the logo. Probably it would have been, uh, in reality, it would be a white tail deer or anything like that. So an American species. But... I think the, the red deer really, yeah, it's our second largest deer in Raven Creek and the, once we have the moose 
and our fourth deal species in total for this park uh, after the reindeer, the moose that we still we got, we get and the fellow deer. So really nice and yeah, um, really cool. And I can't wait to have it fully integrated into build, but uh, about that a little bit later. Before I want to talk a bit of, of a topic that maybe some have noticed, nobody has really spoken about it yet. Um, but if you are very carefully watching these videos and not just skipping through, as I know some of you do, um, I can see where people skip and not, um, like, or at least I can um, kind of see it in the in the statistics. But yeah, um, if you watch through, you maybe m sometimes notice that things um, change uh, during uh, during cuts in the video, so that certain yeah buildings are smaller or bigger or that um, paths are a little bit different than they was before than they were before or uh, layouts changed a little bit maybe habitat layouts and maybe if you have wondered why that's the case and if there was something missing or anything um, mostly this happens so you if you notice something like that you know that between these two uh, recordings there was uh, uh, yeah, a recording break so I, I stopped recording between these two cuts um, and there was maybe a day or two between them because mostly after I finish or I finished a recording session so around an hour or two depending on how much time I have on that day to record I most uh, mostly uh, sleep a night over everything or I have a night I sleep to the next day and uh, then I look at the build again and then I change some things that in my eyes don't make sense or could be better for example layouts for habitats that could work a little bit better if, the, if I change them to whatever yeah uh, yeah it isn't it isn't the end or the size of buildings the direction of buildings and if these changes are not that significant so um, if I only change a little bit of the layout of the habitat or make a building uh, one wall smaller they are not as that significant in my eyes so usually I don't record these changes um, if you have a problem with that that I sometimes don't record stuff that I change um, especially if it's some just some minor stuff um, let me know in the comments and I will try to record it in the future otherwise I will just keep that by that I don't record uh, minor changes to things if they are not that significant simply because sometimes you build something and then afterwards you notice ah, it doesn't work the way you uh, you uh, intended it to be to work or the look doesn't fit you what you planned for it and then you, you just change it um, sometimes you only see that afterwards so yeah this is something I usually do after a, a recording session but yeah um, this habitat as I said already um, really cool has a, has a view onto the wetlands area and the mountains in the back and the railroad so I kept the foliage um, like it, it, it's the edge of the forest basically in my head um, so the viewing platforms that I have that we have that I really like this extended into the habitat extended viewing platform marks basically the edge of the f of the forest the thick forest that we are in and from there everything yeah, goes yeah basically uh, seamless into the f um, the river area which more with less tre lesser trees and more grasses and everything so this habitat basically marks the end of the redwood cedar forest so to say and this means um, that we have some forest areas for the red deers but we also have some lighter areas we have more lights comes in and we have more grassland where they can graze and, and, then, and I think this, in the end it turns out really well you will see it uh, in detail in the end time part where we look at all the changes and everything and we look at the finished build speaking of build um, what are the future plans for the zoo as I already said um, I will take a week rest to yeah, basically plan things out but for now um, things I can talk about and I will that I will not are not secret are of course the finishing of the forest area as I already said in the last episode so there will be a little bit of a, of a plaza with uh, some a few food, food stores food stores 
um, and some sitting opportunities for people to rest and have a picnic. But there also will be an animal showcase area um, where we can bring animals in to have like animal talks, animal showcases, flight shows with uh, I don't know our eagles or owls or whatever we will have in the end. So also this will al is also will plant. And then one big thing I want to plan that will go right next to the red deer habitat is a restaurant. So a fully fledged restaurant. I think it will be the only one in this zoo, given the size of this zoo. But yeah, this f um, restaurant will be sitting next to um, yeah, to the red deer habitat. If you have any ideas how this red habitat could be named, um, feel free to post them if there, if there is one that I really like and really enjoy. Um, also, puns are always happy. I always love to see ha puns in the in these names. So if you have a, 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 a deer for a name for the restaurant, let me know in the comments down below. And if I find a really good one that, uh, that makes me chuckle or that I find really fitting, I will consider using it for the restaurant. Otherwise, I still also have already a, an own idea, but if there is one that is better than mine, then I'm happy to use that. But yeah, these are my plans for the future. I just have to uh, basically uh, draw them out in the zoo so I know where everything will go and how much space I need. Um, so yeah, the plaza area, um, the animal showcase, animal show area, and the restaurant and then uh, a little bit of a secret project um, also in between this that I will not speak about now but uh, you will see when the time is right but yeah um, we have a couple minutes left and I will now leave you to the rest of the music without my talking and then I see you in the end showcase so see you at the end and enjoy the music
All right, and here we are now in the real-time part, and the zoo, uh, the train, not the zoo, <laughs> the train is just passing by. We are right on the bridge that leads to the wetlands area back here, to the capybaras, and if we turn left, we go back to the rest of our zoo, and there you can already see our big male red deer buck in the distance, patrolling his, yeah, his empire, so to say. Um... I know it wasn't really clear in the speed build, but this is the border uh, from away from the river that the habitat goes. It doesn't go further than that to uh, um, fit the American law that you can't build too close to a natural river. I'm sure it has to be a little bit further away, but then uh, yeah, I've also had to fit the space, so some liberties were taken. Ignore the signs; they are still wrong, and I maybe I. I have the time next week wor where no video will be to yeah, update all the signs finally to make them correct. But yeah, this is one of our two viewing areas for the red deer habitat. The other one is a little bit hidden behind the trees and foliage, so there is no cross viewing. We have some enrichment items here for the deers. Of course, these stick piles as we ha al uh, as we usually have in herbivore habitats to give them away to scrap themselves, um, to rub themselves against them, maybe for the males also to fight a little bit with it, to break the horns off or the antlers. So these are really a vital part of herbivore, enrich uh, herbivore enrichment. And I always like to include them because they're really easy to make. And if we follow those paths, we notice that on the left side, there's nothing. <laughs> at least yet, the zoo will extend there at some point. But if you go up, I try to make it as um, slow of a s yeah, slope as possible. I know it's still a little bit steep and maybe I will change it in the future But for now, um, it is what it is. Uh, it is hard to do um, With this, the space I have here again on the left side nothing here. So please ignore that there will be something in the future uh, as a building um, But this will be extended and built on in the future for now only on the right side we have I have opened something so we have our viewing area um, for our deers. I really like the idea of this uh, extended um, viewing area that goes into the habitat so you can get right up close to the deers. They come also uh, to this area here to yeah, um, look at the enrichment item. But this way you also you can't really see the, the lower viewing area. You see it a little bit but not too much. Um, but you also can't see the indoor area, the um, the building, uh, that much because of the foliage. So it, it's your view onto the habitat isn't disturbed that much. You can see the train bridge in the background, background which I really like and which also was a goal for me. And you can see the wetlands building from here. So there is a nice scenery when the deer are in front here, when they stand in the sun and are, j are grazing here. At the moment I think they are sleeping back there. <laughs> A bit they can go inside they just don't want to but yeah as I see if you have the deer here I think this view especially with the mountain in the background once this is also finished I I really like I really love it how it turned out and I hope it gives the red deer justice for being the third anniversary animal I uh, I really like how this turned out I really like it I really love how what I what I did with here and the view just gives all the credit I need if we go down here um, for the end, so we can also see that we of course have the have same style as the red fox habitat further up, and the idea is that this is just yeah these are just the older oldest buildings in the park, so they all have the same style of these more old houses, and um, the other buildings in the zoo are more upgraded versions of 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 our zoo, and these are the old parts. Oh yeah, the one is already going out outside. As usual, um, I have used the fences I also I made for the fellow deer hab habitat. If you also if you want to see how I made these, um, I suggest watching the fellow deer episode. One I think one of the first episodes I made. There you can see how I made these fences. I think they are also available on the workshop in my fence pack. If not, they will be available in the future. Um, 
But yeah, I see I still have to add lighting. Um, I will do that after this episode. But yeah, we have an area for the male, for the buck here. If we need to separate it from the females, maybe in the breeding season, we don't want to breed them. And we have two um, sleeping areas for the females where they can, which one we can also uh, close off if we ever have uh, babies here and we need to separate mother and baby from the other ones we can do that in here and the other ones can sleep here so it's very simple and very pragmatic indoor area we have a sink here to clean stuff we have some storage here it's very not that complicated we also have this area here uh, which is not really visible from the upper viewing but and also not a little bit from the lower viewing um, this would be the separation area separation habitat for the male so we would close this off with a fence or something and then the male would be separated from the females uh, in terms of problems, aggression or anything like that. Yeah, um, with that out of the way and with that I think um, we are done for this episode for this week and I will see you again in two weeks as I said. No video next week but then in two weeks again. And I hope you enjoyed this episode. If so, maybe consider giving this video a like. And if you haven't already, also maybe consider subscribing to this channel. Doesn't cost you anything. Makes me happy. And we all have a great day. And yeah, I hope I see you in the next episode. And until then, stay safe. Have, take care. And have a great time. Bye bye.